Yes, will be available at the hotel starting next week. You may start to see and notice fewer mailboxes around the downtown Tampa area. That's because postal officials are going to be removing the mailboxes for security reasons during the upcoming national convention. Now, workers will start removing them the week of August 19th. They're going to be back in early September. Tampa Bay Bucks back on the field this morning, getting ready for the upcoming season. This year, we should be seeing a lot more games on TV, too, thanks to some new blackout rules. Yeah, Sean Daly is there this morning, and Sean, uh, people have started to show up, fans have started to show up, and the Bucks, uh, they've taken the field. That's right, we got the players on the field, we got the fans in the stands. Don't open at 7.30 today. It's pretty packed. However, a lot of good seats available for the fans. Remember, no ticket needed this year. First come, first serve basis. You know, and we have a special guest with us. Last year, we voted him the sexiest GM in the NFL. The votes are in. He retains the title. GM Mark Dominic. Here he is. Very Thanks, exciting. Sean. Appreciate it. Thank uh, you Oh, sure. Much. You know, that's all right. He's going to hit me later, but it's worth it. It was worth it. Hey, listen, a lot of optimism this year, you know? We have some new players in. The TV rules have been altered, so more people can watch the games on TV, hopefully. Um, do you feel a different vibe uh, in camp this year? Yeah, I think everybody does. I think the people that have come out here and watched even the first practice yesterday, a lot of the fans that are out here today are going to see a new Buccaneer team. You know, a lot of new faces, guys like Vincent Jackson and Carl Nix, guys are going to really help this football team get to the next level and get our back on track to where we want to be, as well as just Coach Ciano and what he's doing with this football team in terms of the discipline and all the things that he's bringing to structure that I think are going to make Tampa Bay fans really proud. Yeah, I was talking to somebody earlier. I mean, he's really like a nuts and bolts guy, um, a fun guy, but also just comes in and goes to work. Yeah, if you like old school football, and you like guys that are like that, you're going to love Coach Ciano, the way he you know, attacks the game, the way he looks at the game, and how meticulous he is about the details. I think that that's going to really help our young football team get to where we want to be quickly. Yeah, talk real quick about uh, about the draft picks this year, a couple big ones. Yeah, Mark Barron's come right in. He's uh, starting for us at safety already. Monster. He's a big boy, and yeah. it's just fun to watch and move around. You know, Doug Martin had an excellent first day yesterday. I mean, really an excellent first day, and really exciting, make you miss speed. And, and really, Levante David jumped right in and was probably our best coverage linebacker yesterday, just watching him move in, in practice. And so there's a lot of good things about the draft. Yeah, you talk about Doug Martin and you have, you know, LeGarrette Blount, too. I mean, those guys are kind of going to drive each other to uh, do even better, right? That's the goal. Yeah. You know, in this league, as we all know, it's hard to have just one back help you carry it all the way. So those two guys can work together. And then we got this young kid, Michael Smith, who drafted the seventh round that runs 4 3 super fast, and we're excited to watch him in practice, too. Genius, Mark Dominic. Uh, real quick, uh, we got the <laughs> uh, we have the night practice coming up. When is, tell us about that at Ray J. Yeah, it's going to be Saturday night at Raymond James Stadium, and we'll actually start autographs. The players are all going to autograph for two hours uh, before practice and have an opportunity to do like a little scrimmage, almost like a, a spring game in the college aspect. We're going to do a scrimmage. So we'll, we'll have the players out there from 4 to 6, all the autographs all set up for everybody. Then at 6.30, we'll kick into a night practice at 9 o'clock. I think we're doing some fireworks. We're going to give a dollar hot dogs. There you go. The only thing they prepped him on was like, don't forget the dollar hot dogs. And I got it in there. You got it in there. There he is, Mark Dominic. I love this guy. Good luck this year, my friend. Good to see you guys. Come on down. Hey, again, plenty of seats. You don't need a ticket. You just need the drive and the heat and the fanship. Come on, Bucks. Let's go, Bucks. Sean, thank you very much. You know, Sean's going to be part of something tonight that's going to be epic for ABC Action News and the morning team here because. Mm. Myself, Sean, Bill, and Frank Cam, we're going to the Kiss Motley Crew concert tonight, and we're going to be face painted. Face painted, boys' night out, Kiss. I'm frightened. Follow us on Twitter. It's going oh to be boy. hilarious. Other side of the bay, another big music festival too. We're going to talk.